In this video, we're going to take a practical look at FS2 Streams Bracket. Now, I have set up a class called Do Important Things with Resources that has a start and a stop method. Now, I think the best way to do this is to, to build it up as if you weren't using the streams and then use the streams and see what benefits it gives us. So, I have a, uh, an object main which extends an IO app. Uh, which means that I have this run method that uh, requires an IO of exit code to be returned, and it will guarantee uh, that it runs or executes the IO for me. So let's start off with a for comp. And the first thing to do is make sure we get everything to hang together. Uh, so def val go equals for comp. And the type of this is, of course, IO unit. Okay, so now in order to return the thing we need, which is an exit code, I'm going to compile, drain, and then I'm going to attempt it before mapping. So if this was whoops, a left with an error in it, then I'm going to map it to an exit code of six error. Before I do that, I'm going to just output the line. And then of course the second case, so we get a right anything. Just map that to success. Okay, so let's set up this as a stream. Um, so we're going to have fs2 stream eval. And then, of course, I need to put the effect type in here. And then we're just going to print out. Starting, starting stream, and let's have a stopping stream, and let's just build that and see what we get. Okay, so we're starting the stream, we're stopping the stream, everything seems to run, that's good. Let's have a look what we need to do now. Let's see. So we've got this um, object. Let's create it. Uh, so we're going to have uh, fs2 stream eval io of a new, uh, what was it called? Do important things with the resources. Okay, so now we've got a new one. We're going to have to handle on it. So let's call it main. And then let us wire in uh, fs2 dot stream. If nothing else, you'll very quickly get this all down in your brain. And then uh, we don't need an IO now because when we call start, returns an IO. So that'll be nicely wired in. So that's going to start us off. Let's just make sure that is in there okay. All right, okay. So we start the stream, we instantiate, acquiring the resource, starting polling, stopping the stream. Lovely. Um, what we haven't done, of course, is done the shutdown. So let's put a little hack in actually because we've got one poll in there only. 
let's do a little bit of a naughty naughty. And do an IO dot sleep of two. Let's go with five seconds. And of course we need to import scala.concurrent whoop dot duration dot underscore. Okay, so hide that away again. Let's run it. So we start the stream, we start it, polling, 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 and stop. Okay, let's now put in the cleanup. Still got a handle on main. So we can just call stop there. Okay, so we start the stream, uh, we instantiate the object, acquire the resources, we start, we poll, 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 stop, release the resources, and stopping stream. So this is the part that we didn't have before, and we have now are doing some cleanup, which is great, unless, of course, something were to go horribly wrong. Uh, maybe I wrote some terrible code because it was a Monday morning or it was a Friday afternoon. And I haven't had my coffee. A bit like that looks now. And so we're going to have an IO res error with a new exception of boom. So let's build her. Wonder what is going to happen. Okay, so we're polling, polling polling and we explode and because we've exploded we don't evaluate anything after that point and so main stop doesn't get run the cleanup doesn't occur and we've now orphaned off these resources and we've left things in a bad state could be better right so let's now have a look at the bracket so let's just call it brackets and fs2.stream.bracket instead of eval. Throw you a curveball. All right, so with bracket, we do have a signature where we have two curried arguments. I'm using a more modern version, or fairly recent version of fs2stream. And so the signature here has these two components, which the first one is the acquire. So acquiring this effective thing. And then the release, the thing to an effect of unit. Uh, if you're using a slightly older version, uh, maybe because you need to, because something else you're using has a requirement on that and there are some breaking changes between the versions, then you may see that there is a use and then a comma separated release. Um, it's a slightly different signature. This, this is better, I think, slightly easier to use. Um, there was not really much point in having the use one as far as I've ever used it. So, pop back. So the first thing we need to do is this acquire. Um, so, in fact, let's just lift and shift because we've already done it here. So, we're going to take that and plonk it in here. Lovely. And now we're going to have the resource. And we need to basically stop everything. Um, so, we've got a resource dot stop. Now, that does return an IO of unit. So I think that's sufficient. Uh, very good. So we can now take our bracket and we can wire that in to our main. Um, because we've done the release, we can remove that part. Kick it off again. If I might bring this down slightly. Okay, so the difference here is, of course, that we stopped and released the resources prior to the exception propagating. And that's what you're getting um, from Bracket. Um, kind of like um, if you're familiar with Java at all, uh, they try with resources. Uh, basically, you have a block of code that is guaranteed uh, to execute 
um, before anything that causes a, a failure or an exception in the main to um, overtake it. So it's it's like that cleanup code is guaranteed to run, um, which is definitely an improvement on the the previous version. Um, of course, I think if we were to to move our exception prior to you actually starting the bracket, then you wouldn't actually, uh, it won't run. Um, so there'll be no cleanup involved or required. Um, this is more about protection uh, when you do need um, code to be run, uh, resources to be released, etc. As you can see there, nothing occurred at all. Uh, but we can probably improve this a little bit more. So we can take um, the starting of this we want, we can put that into the, uh, the bracket as well. Um, so let's take that out. Uh, again, at this point, we no longer need a handle on main. Um, so here, let's shift everything about. So I've got this IO. Um, let's get a handle on that because that's going to be our thing. And then we're going to start the thing. Is it? Uh, let's remember to put the rest of the four comp in first, otherwise it doesn't like things. Okay, yep, it's the right type. So we're starting that off, and then we're going to yield thing out because that's what we need to provide. Otherwise, we can break the uh, the release. Okay, so we have just the single change we've made here is to uh, kick things off. Um, actually when we call this. So let's take a peek now. We should start stream, run the bracket, have a little sleep, and then stop it again. Which will give time for me uh, polling that occurs to take place. Pulling, pulling. Okay, so we have our cleanup, uh, we have our start, um, things are nicely contained. And um, you should be ready to go with FS Stream Bracket now.